So DaVinci Resolve recently released this amazing new feature in version 20, which allows you to change to almost any aspect ratio in literally one click. But with that comes a lot of issues if you don't set up your project properly and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your project so that it's customizable so that when you change to any aspect ratio your project change with the aspect ratio. So here on my timeline I've got a 4k timeline and I've activated my 9x16 guide so that I can see what my reels will look like when I do apply the crop. So I do want this building in my frame like you can see in this 9x16 guide. But when I go to this button and you can find this button right above the program window under this drop down and here you can change to different aspect ratios. If your presets not here, you can change it under custom timeline settings. So we want to go to portrait mode. So I'm going to click portrait and look what happens. So when I hit portrait, it scales my entire 16 by nine frame into my nine by 16 frame. And that's not at all what I want. What I want is to see what I saw in the program window right here. That's what I want to see. So the way to fix that is to go to your timeline settings so find your timeline in your uh, media pool and right click your timeline go to timeline timeline settings and here under timeline settings a very important thing is you need to deselect use project settings if that setting is selected then you will not be able to customize your settings so we're not going to change any of the timeline resolutions here but we are going to look at mismatched resolution settings so the reason why it scales my 16 by 9 frame into by my portrait frame is because this setting is selected scale entire image to fit so if we want to fix that so that when we change the aspect ratio it actually scales to fit um, <clears throat> we need to select scale full frame with crop that means that when we change the aspect ratio it's going to still be full frame but the sides will be cropped off so let's go ahead and select that setting and let's go and change to the portrait mode. And now you can see all of a sudden it is fixed. And from now on, it will be fixed. Now, doesn't matter which aspect ratio we change to, it's going to have that exact same picture that you see in your program window. Let's go to the square frame. When we do change to the square aspect ratio, you'll see that it crops exactly like that. And with that, the text and everything else in your project will compensate for that aspect ratio. But you need to make sure that your timeline settings are set correctly for this. So guys, I hope that you found this video helpful. For more tutorials on DaVinci Resolve and how to do amazing things, hit that subscribe button to see more content. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.